National Health Research Institute scientists say they've been able to synthesize more than one gram of remdesivir, an experimental drug that's shown promise in treating COVID-19. The first drug was first developed by and patented by U.S. pharmaceutical Gilead Sciences. Taiwan's government is reportedly in talks with Gilead over rights to mass produce a generic version of remdesivir to fight the epidemic. The researcher raises a round bottom flask and mixes its contents before inspecting the state of the drug. In a complex lab procedure, Taiwan scientists have been able to replicate remdesivir, an antiviral drug with the potential to treat COVID-19. We've synthesized the drug at the gram level. That is 10,000 times more than the milligram level production that was reported last week. This drug was in fact used in clinical trials for Ebola patients. In the U.S., it's had positive effects on the treatment of COVID-19 patients in the state of Washington. So although it's not on the market, we are willing to give it a try. Researchers confirmed the good news on Tuesday. Working around the clock for five days, experts at the National Health Research Institutes were able to achieve breakthroughs in remdesivir production. Amid its outbreak, China has begun a phase three clinical trial of remdesivir. Meanwhile, Taiwan has worked on replicating the drug from scratch. Last week, Academia Sinica managed to produce the drug at the milligram level with 97% purity. This week, National Health Research Institutes reached the gram milestone twice as fast as expected. The active ingredient we produce could really become a drug to treat patients on a large scale. So for mass production, we're talking 1,000 times more artificial crystals. In addition, our Vaccinology Institute is working very hard to develop a vaccine. The National Health Research Institute says it's seeking corporate partners to launch the drug into test production at the 100 gram or kilogram level. Scientists say that with more work and testing, there could be a ray of hope on the deadly outbreak.